Education Galaxy presents Convert Measurement Units. Today, we're going to join Zoe at the pet shop and explore how to convert measurement units using ratios and proportions. Hey guys, I'm Zoe. I work at the pet shop after school, and I'm always having to convert measurement units. Ratios and proportions are the easiest way, and this graphic organizer makes it super simple. Let's go inside and look around. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Teddy. Look, our first measurement problem to convert. Nathan measured out 872 grams of bird seed, but the price is listed per kilogram. Nathan needs to figure out how many kilograms of bird seed that he has. Remember our graphic organizer and remember that one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. So let's draw our graphic organizer. We'll set it up as grams to kilograms, so we will have 1,000 to 1. The 872 is grams, so it will go in the numerator. X will be in our denominator. Is there something easy that we can multiply or divide 1,000 by to get 872? No. Let's look at the patterns vertically. What can I do to 1,000 to get 1? That's right. I can divide by 1,000. Now we need to divide 872 by 1,000 and we'll have our answer. To divide by 1,000, simply move the decimal point three places to the left. 872 grams equals 0 0.872 or 872 thousandths kilogram. Hey guys, do you want to help me with another measurement conversion? I need to measure 88 ounces of concentrated liquid fertilizer to mix with water for the plants in the store. I only have a one pint jar to measure with. How many pints are equal to 88 ounces? Remember, we'll use our graphic organizer and you need to remember that one pint is two cups and one cup is eight ounces. Since two times eight is 16, that means that one pint is 16 ounces. We'll set up our graphic organizer as ounces to pints and have 16 over one. Since the 88 is ounces, it will go in the numerator and X will go in the denominator. What can we multiply 16 by to get 88? Well, I know that 16 times five is 80 and 16 times six is 96. Since 88 is right in the middle, 16 times 5.5 is 88. Now we simply need to multiply one times 5.5 and we'll have our answer. That's right. 88 ounces equals five and a half pints. I have one more measurement problem to convert before the day is over. The bone sign on the front of the pet shop is two and one half yards long. The owner needs the length of the bone sign in inches. How many inches are equal to two and a half yards? Remember, one yard equals three feet and one foot equals 12 inches. Since 12 times three is 36, that means that one yard is 36 inches. Let's set our graphic organizer up as inches to yards. Our first ratio will be 36 over one. Since the 2.5 is yards, it will go in the denominator and X will go in the numerator. Now think, what can we multiply one by to get 2.5? That's right, 2.5. We'll do the same thing to the numerator and we'll have our answer. Use pencil and paper to calculate 36 times 2.5. What did you get? That's right, it's 90. The bone sign is 90 inches long. When you need to convert measurement units, remember it's easy to use proportions with our graphic organizer. I'm going to let you try a couple of problems on your own while I finish cleaning up. Come on, Teddy, let's go inside and see if we can find you a real bone. <laughs> 